Yeah, thanks a bunch, Steve. Um, my name's Buddy. I work at Sosta. And uh, you know, performance analytics is a really broad topic, and really only have enough time to talk about one part of it. So I'd like to use a few minutes today to talk about relationships. Relationships between data, but also relationships between people. Because relationships are complicated. You know, they're, they're informed by different points of view. And sometimes even something as simple as just one word can mean something very specific to you, but something altogether different to somebody else. And for the Velocity audience, I think a good example of that type of word is the word performance. Performance has a very specific meaning or set of meanings to this audience. But I think what I've found in the 15 years that I've worked in the Velocity type of performance industry is that in talking to different people, performance has different meanings to different people. And if you want to prove it to yourself, then when you get back to work on Monday, walk around your office and just ask some of the people in the different groups, the different departments uh, that, you, you know, that you have at your company what performance means to them. And I bet you that depending on who you're talking to, you'll get a different answer. And not only will you get a different answer in terms of the definition of performance, but you might also find that they use different metrics to track whether they're having good or bad performance. And so you know, if you look at the, the engineering or the, the operations you know, side of the business, those types of metrics are very familiar to this audience, right? We have lots of techniques and tricks for doing things to influence things like front-end time, um, perceived render time, or if you come down a little bit more on the operation side of DevOps, then maybe you track things like server latency or service availability really closely. But over in the finance department, they don't know what those things mean, even though they might be as passionate about performance as we are. And so they're tracking things like profit margin, revenue growth, and in sales, where they're working on moving people through some type of funnel usually, they might be focused on things like lead generation and conversion rate. But the interesting thing about that is that when you look at the user, none of that stuff really means anything to her, right? The, the, the user's definition of performance is actually much simpler than that. It's can they do something on the website that they showed up to do without getting frustrated and without pulling their hair out? But if we go back to the group of people that we actually work with in the office every day, one of the things I think that we find is interesting is that they're all right. They all have a piece of the performance puzzle. But what happens is they need to work together, and oftentimes they don't. And I would submit to you that the reason why a lot of times they don't work together is because they're not using the same language to communicate because they don't understand the relationships between those different types of metrics. And relationships are important, not only the relationships between people, but also data. And I would also submit to you that if you can find the relationships between the different metrics that people care about, then you can create relationships between the people in those different groups so that they'll work together in common cause to create a better user experience. And so finding the relationships between the data is really what we are passionate about at SOSTA. It's one of the things that we spend a lot of time in our day working on. And that's why when you look at, for example, our run product impulse, you know, as interested as we are in things like navigation timing and resource timing and user timing and whatever's next timing and all that stuff, we're equally interested in the metrics that measure how people are actually uh, behaving on the website when they get there. So what's their conversion rate? What's their bounce rate? How many things do they look at and what do they actually do on the website? And how do those two things work together? What's the relationship between those metrics so that we can go to those different groups within companies and not just say that faster is better, but actually get more specific than that and talk about how much faster and how much better. It's also the reason why we built the Digital Operations Center, which I don't know if you've had a chance to see it in our booth over at 801, but it's a, it's a new product that we're launching this week at Velocity that's all about taking our data that we collect and combining it with data sets in organizations that are often siloed and they're in places where people can't get at them. And so we want to bring all that stuff together so that folks can correlate that in one spot and then collaborate and make meaningful decisions and then distribute that information out to the parts of the company where they can take action to improve the user experience. So what I would leave you with um, is to say that, you know, my, my friend Patrick from New Relic earlier was talking about after, after he went through the, the burrito thing, he was talking about superheroes and about the velocity audience as superheroes. And I think that's, a, that's an apt metaphor. Because when you look at superheroes, um, you find that there's a problem, right? And then there's a very specialized set of skills that they usually bring to bear on that problem. And I would submit that the specialized skills that you have, one of them, is the ability to take very large sets of data, find the relationships between them, 
and you understand how to acquire, use, or build tools to do the heavy lifting. So use those skills not just to participate in a conversation about performance, but actually to lead a conversation about performance. And do that when you get back to work on Monday. And if you're interested in talking with us further about this, like I said, we're in booth 801 over in the expo um, area, and also SOSTA is sponsoring the cocktail reception at the end of the day today. So we'd love to talk to you if you're interested. Thanks very much.